that's what all the radio was this night. Good. We'll be just on time to meet the Guerrieros. If nothing goes wrong. There's been a change. Wilson wants us to learn to tip mango instead of a small debate. Hey, mango! It's too great. I don't like it. I don't like you either, but Wilson is no idiot. Are you sure? Well, I'm not idiot myself. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure the message came from Wilson? He's the only one who knows the code, except his associate, and I think his wife, Linda. But that's all. Okay, 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 okay. Make the signal one short and two long and wait for their answer. Then it repeats right after one short, two long. Then it repeats one short and two long. And that one over there. Shit, we could have got them. What? You want to break pirates? Well, there's no time. Hurry up, boys.
called Dave. Good catch. Good job, Linda. The colonel will be proud of you. Yes, I'm sure he will be. Perfect, thanks. OK, let's go, boys. Load that shit into the truck and take it up to Colonel Madero's residence right away. Back home? I think there's something wrong. Something's definitely gone wrong. This bastard's back down on us. No, they're in this for the money. Or they're too stupid and they got themselves caught. No. Shit. We can't fuck this up now. We need these weapons. We'll wait a few more minutes. We can't fuck it up now. We've got the people with us. Gotta make that fucker Madero pay for his fucking crimes. He'll pay. I told you what happened. You're wounded. I'm fine, I'm fine. They've been ambushed. They got four men. Oh, Jesus Christ. What happened? Well, they got the weapons. All of them. Not all his men were there. Shit. Fucked. Oh, yeah, yeah, calm down. Where's Wilson? Does he know about this? Not yet. I don't think so. I'm going up to Villa Anita right now. I'm coming with you. Okay, There's well. There's something we can yeah, do. Yeah, take the wheel. Okay.
you let me worry about that. Look, it's your birthday. Have a good time. Things will work out. You'll see. I can't help it. Is your wife here yet? She'll be along. You know, I wish you'd make some sort of an effort with her. It might start by not calling her my wife. What should I call her? Elizabeth? How about Linda? That's your name. Maybe Mother? Mother. My mother died ten years ago. And she was kind and beautiful. I can't call anyone else Mother. Especially someone who doesn't even like me. She adores you. Yeah, she adores me so much, she doesn't even show up for my birthday party. Happy birthday, my dear. Sorry I'm late, but I've been picking out your present. I hope you like it. Thanks, Linda. It's beautiful. Hi, you, darling. Happy birthday, baby. And Antonio is here, and a friend is with him. Where are they? I left them in the bathroom. They're dirty. Excuse me one second, please. Absolutely radiant tonight, Mrs. Wilson. You're looking very well yourself, Mr. Perry. You look handsome in your dark suit. Thank you. But it wasn't your dress I was thinking of exactly. Something in your eyes. You look like you just hit the daily double and then paid off big. <laughs> Maybe I did. Congratulations. But I remember an amateur who kept on playing. The odds are against him. Bound to lose you, but he might even get into trouble. The trouble he can't get out of his life. Why, Mr. Perry? Is that any kind of uh, veil threat? Of course not. Call it a friendly one. It's so kind of you to take such an interest. <laughs> Will you please dance with me? <laughs> Your taste runs to the old tunes. Very old. Old as jealousy, hate, betrayal. It's got to be Lamont. Yeah, what do you think so? Who else knows the code? But it doesn't make sense. He gets a share of your business. I should have known better. A high-ranking member of the Ramos government. If he can betray Ramos for me and my money, why can't he betray me for Madero and his? But he didn't betray Ramos. He knows just as we know that Ramos is weak. Madero is who we're afraid of, right? That is, unless there's... Senor Lamont. This is Wilson. We'll know in a minute. Senor Lamont is in a meeting. May I take a message? A meeting with who? Colonel Madero. It's Lamont. It's got to be Lamont. He's not the only one that knows the code, Father. What are you doing here? I know the code and so does your wife. Anita, are you seriously suggesting it's Linda? Well, you're the one who always says you can never be sure of anyone's integrity. Happy birthday, Anita. Yeah. I 
dressing for this? Why don't you guys join my party? They're not exactly dressed for it. It's a pity. All those young gentlemen are both trying to bore me to death. We've got to have those weapons. Do you think you can arrange for a new shipment? I don't like losing all that merchandise. And we think we can bring them to you. Oh. Kidnap him. Yeah. Maybe we can use him as hostage. Swap him against the weapons. But Dero will let him die first. But at least we'll know. All right. But on one condition. No bloodshed. No violence. You do it clean, all right? No political BS, no propaganda. I am not one of your guerrillas. I'm a businessman. I'm a, I'm a salesman. You're my clients. That's as far as it goes, all right? Okay. You will use this first, for smoke screen. And you follow with tear gas, okay? Don't worry, Luis is backing you up from the truck. Have a nice lunch, Senor Lamont. Thanks. operational, ready for a landing. Call an officer's meeting. Aye, aye, sir. 1,100 hours in the officer's mess. It won't, it won't look so formal. Aye, sir. Not so formal. I understand. No misunderstandings. This is a tactical exercise of Puerto Santo. That's all. Of course, sir. But we have a duty to be at the ready. You never know when you may be called upon to come to the assistance of a friendly nation. And when the president calls, we have to be at the top of our game. Of course, sir but only on explicit instructions from the Pentagon, naturally. Naturally, sir. Get moving, Merle. You talk too much. Dismissed.
seems Colonel Madero is becoming too powerful. I will do my best, Mr. Secretary. But I remind you that Colonel Madero's help has been essential to the process of building a democratic government. Without his help, without the National Guard, which is loyal to him, I'm not certain that... We have a general idea of the role Colonel Madero has played recently. And we all share a common objective. We must protect against the possibility that Puerto Santo might fall prey to the forces of communism, through the Progressive Party or whatever. But indiscriminate repressive measure will only serve to fan the flames. We're counting on you to remain firm on that point. Relieve the Colonel if you have to. You have the support of the United States. Uh, thank you. All right, all right. I'll keep you informed. Come in, Mr. President. They were terrorists, extreme left. Let's not get carried away, Colonel. We have to analyze the situation. There's nothing to analyze. Now is the time for action. I'm here to inform you as to our plan for retaliation. Remain calm, Colonel. Reprisals can only make the matters worse. They murdered your Secretary of State. We can't let them get away with that. Retribution could lead to a full-scale civil war, I'm afraid. I'm afraid if we let them get away with it, the killing will not stop. You could be their next target. That would be a shame, Mr. President. Personally, I believe that assassination of Lamotte can be seen as an isolated act of some kind of fanatics. After all, what would our opponents gain from from? You're dreaming, Mr. President. These are cold-blooded murderers. Let me handle this. You take care of the affairs of state. I know how to deal with these people. Colonel, the United States has guaranteed us that their fifth fleet is in our waters, ready to assist us. Assist us? And... And just who is us? Are you sure that includes you and me? <laughs> How many of those? Fifty. Hmm. Who's he, huh? And this? Czechoslovakians. Hmm. The Serbians are French. And the rockets is German. Great. Sounds like an international arms exhibit. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, it's a good thing we intercepted these. That fool Ramos. He's afraid of a bloodbath. I'm not afraid. We will liquidate those bastards to the last man. Mm. Like in the good old times of General Monge. One second. It's a lady for you, sir. Hello, Linda. Yes. Are you free to talk? Yes. They are all down by the pool. You have been neglecting me recently. No, no, I've been very busy. <laughs> I was only teasing you. Listen, I should have uh, some interesting news for you tomorrow about the new shipment. But I want to see you. I want to see you too, more than you know. Four o'clock tomorrow, meet me. Usual place, uh, by the river. A and Linda, you were really terrific last time. In business or in bed? Both. Miguel, 
You will implement this plan. Checkpoints in all the streets, raids on all of their hangouts, everything. And Miguel, very important. Get one of these bastards and make him talk. Any restrictions on the way I question him? You mean uh, human rights and all that nonsense? Yeah. Forget it. I want results, confessions, information. I don't care how you get it. Martial law and force in Puerto Santo, citizens are reminded to abide by the clauses which follow. One, it is forbidden to gather in public or private in groups of more than six people without special authorization. Two, it is forbidden to walk or drive on the streets or roads after the 8 p.m. curfew. Three, it is forbidden to have in one possession firearms, cutting, or dressing weapons without a license delivered by the military authorities. Tell me more! Don't stand here! Four. It is forbidden to have in one possession or distribute books, newspapers, or printed matter of a subversive nature. Citizens who transgress any of these clauses will be arrested by the military police. Get rid of them. Confirmation new shipment next week. Further instructions, Claxton. I'm going to Puerto Rico tomorrow. The other boss will be docking at Guerrero's at noon to load the new shipment. Where are you going to land it? There's no other bay. That's dangerous. Madero's people know about that place. Yes, but they don't know when. This time, nobody knows but you and me. And of course, this Mrs. Wilson knew she would never do such a thing. Tell me frankly, do you believe it was her? I do. You're out of your mind, all of you. I love her. I understand. But there is a way to prove it's not true. Then your mind will be at ease. How? We talk in front of your wife. We we'll say the landing place is Cape Mango. Mandalore's men are there. If they're waiting, we will know it was her. If not, we will know that your wife didn't betray you. All right, we'll do it. But 
but I'm afraid. Afraid of what? What if she's guilty? What would I do? Hello. Luis here. Any news? Those bastards have murdered Andre's father. No. I'd be right there. Bring the girl with you if you can. Okay. How far is it? We're almost there. It's an old uh, Spanish fortress lost in the forest. That's uh, Gary Yours headquarters. Anita, swear to me that you're not gonna repeat anyone what you're about to discover. Not even Senor Wilson. I swear, Antonio, and I swear that I won't tell anyone what I know about you either. About me? I thought you just sympathized with the Guerrieros. But I didn't know you were one of them. That's right, I am. Because they're fighting against misery and oppression. Dreamers. You're all just dreamers. You just sound like your father. Aren't you a little bit young to talk like him? To think like him? Fine. Thank you, Antonio. Come on, boys. Thank you for coming. No, I need you more than ever. I need you too. I don't ever want to leave you. They killed him because he was my father. I was so young at heart. Younger than me. This time there won't be any interference. Madara's men may be waiting for us at Cape Mango. If they are, they will fall in our trap. We will put your men in the old lighthouse on the rocks above. We catch them by surprise. We seize their weapons and their vehicles. We need to catch one of their officers to tell us where those bastards have hidden the weapons that have been stolen from us. Vieni da qua, Bolodos! Sì, andiamo. E la lettera! How are you pretty, baby? How are you? No! Yeah! Ah. Oh! Oh, Cagna! The very best! Ah, grazie. Upstairs. Ah. When do you come around with her once in a while? Oh. I got a new one. 
You couldn't tell if she's a virgin or a whore. We could have some fun yeah. together. Just the three of us. Oh, you can't imagine how much I would love to. Mm -hmm. I never thought that you had the time to fall for that kind of old-fashioned broad. No, she, uh, she's a business associate. Yes. Oh. I have a business meeting. Oh, I know that kind of business. Horny flesh business. Mm. You want some music when you do your business? Yeah, if Manolito is not busy, of course. Mm. Manolito! Manolito, hijo de la pelona! <laughs> Go upstairs and play for the couple in the bridal suite. Play romantic music, nice stuff, none of you dirty songs. It's a nice people! Fucking country this is. Puerto Santos would be paradise if it weren't for those damn terrorists. Maybe this will finish them off. I hope so. If I only knew where they were hiding out. Can't you make one of them talk? Hey, we've made them talk. Idiots. Don't know nothing. The others died too quickly. I know someone who can tell you. Someone who has lots of information, maybe, where they hide out. Mm, sure. Your husband. We can't touch him. Got too many influential friends. No, it would be better just to keep him under control. Are you afraid of his influence with Ramos? Ah, uh, don't make me laugh. President Ramos? No, I was thinking of the gringos. If they get involved, things get complicated. I didn't mean my husband, anyway. Who? His daughter. Seems that little Anita is hooked up with a guerrillero. I saw her nagging in the garden with him as a couple of boxing heat. Hmm. Sounds like you don't like your stepdaughter very much. I hate her. She's arrogant, pretentious little fool. You want me to have her picked up? If it's true what you say, you'll never see her again. <sighs> I certainly have no objections. Maybe you're just a little jealous of her, eh? You love your man after all? No. I told you. I never loved him. I loved the house. My house. And he and his little Anita in my way. And me. Do you love me? Ah, tell me true, because uh, I couldn't care less. <laughs> I don't love anybody. But uh, at least in bed you don't, well, at least in bed you are good.
you can go now if you want. I think so. Hey, we got everything we need, and I got it. What are you doing here? He was supposed to be with the commando at Cape Mango. Well, Andreas went with him. It's just a matter of seeing that Madeira's men aren't there. But if you were wrong, if they are there, his father was killed by Madeira's men not even three days ago. We could wind up with a massacre. God, you're right. I shouldn't have let him go. You stay here to take care of everything. I'm going to try to stop a disaster. Go, no. Cape Mango, quick. Get ready. They'll be here any minute. this mess. What have you all done? They killed my father. They have to pay for this. You see, they were here, the tenant. You were right, she did it. She betrayed me, God damn it. Wait. Some things won't wait. My wife, where, where is she? She was a radical, a little fall.
place is closed till further notice. Ah, good. How's this, Hanson? Yeah. I make oh. you responsible for her security. Nobody sees her unless I tell you. That's a deal. Shall I leave you a couple of men? Oh, that's a lovely idea. For protection. Mm -hmm. It's so nice of you to offer me a couple of men. I already have four men here. Yeah. I think I can manage. Okay. You'll be safe here. In a few days, this will all be over. You'll be a rich widow. You don't know him. He has friends. Are you sure that nobody knows about this place? What? This dump? Hey! What's your language when you speak about my place? My place is not a dump! Listen, I've been thinking... Maybe we should give him his daughter back. She's not gonna tell you anything Are anyway. Are you crazy? She's the only chance we have to get those bastards now. Hey, you are not gonna leave me here, completely alone, without a word. You're afraid? I'll send some soldiers for backup. Okay. Oh, thank you, my love. Damn situations, John. Goes against everything I believe in. What got me was the assassination of Lamont. I knew him personally, you know, when he was in the field. Did you know him? No. I saw him once. Struck me as a man of integrity, a man devoted to the cause. Oh, I'm sure he was. I guess with the type of animals we are dealing with, we've got to expect some losses. Sir. Where do we go from here? I think that we've got all we need. What with the assassination of Lamont, and of course the events that have happened in the last few days. No one can tell us now we're not dealing with or coping with a ruthless gang of thugs that are taking their orders from Cuba. I guess what we've got to do is wait for a special request from President Marcos. Ramos. Oh, yes, Ramos. Uh, we've got to ask him to let us come into the action, and the sooner the better, if you ask me. We don't want another Nicaragua on our hands. Um, I guess we'll have to put a little pressure on our president, huh? Uh, Ramos. Oh, yes, Ramos, of course. Uh, we'll have to pressurize him in one way or another, and I don't like to have to rely on this uh, Colonel Madera. Uh, uh, Madero. Oh, uh, Madero. Uh, nor on the General uh, um, Monhe, who I hear is trying to organize a push with the other Cordelias around, which means that Ramos is our boy. Now, I want you to go down there and light a fire under his goddamn ass and make sure that he lets us step in. And I don't give a shit how you manage it. Understand? Understood. I think I can manage this, sir. Good. Now, let's go back inside and brief the boss on how we're going to handle this. Karen, I say this stamp of one defect. Be nature's delivery. Or fortune's star. This virtue else be they as pure as grace, as infinite as man may undergo. Shall in the general censure take corruption from that particular font. I sell arms. Some people sell shoes. I sell arms. Now look at where your goddamn ideas have got me. A lot of money to start with. My daughter has been arrested. My house has been burned down. My wife, your I... Your wife? What's on you crazy? You know, you're not selling shoes here. You can't go on like this. Buying and selling. and never get involved in what you're doing. Cut the crap. We're supposed to be working here, right? Our objective is to free Anita and recover our weapons. We just heard from our comrades up north. It looks like General Monroe's contras are invading the country. We've got to stop them, and Madero. Uh, how do we do that? A little blind killing, some violence, some propaganda. Wait, you ask Andres to be here. 
and I hope it's for something more productive than this. Great. All right, there may be a way. But you gotta promise me there'll be no more violence until after this is all over. I get my daughter back. You get your arms, and I get out of this fucking place safely, and after that, you can do anything you want. What, have you got some kind of hocus pocus? Sort of. I've asked a friend of mine to help us. He's my supplier. Jonathan! Gentlemen. Hello, gentlemen. These are the plans of the residents of Colonel Madero. Tomorrow at noon, there'll be a high-level meeting in this room between the colonel and major government authorities and several cabinet ministers. President Ramos won't be there. He wasn't invited. The purpose of this meeting is to enlist the support of these authorities in an eventual government of Madero. He's going to make his move. He wants Ramos squeezed out. Well, this is all very interesting, but uh, what does it have to do with anything? All right, this is the basement of the building. This is the room where the arms shipment is being stored. Now, Mr. Wilson. there with a mortar. I'll fire off one acid rocket. Be a lot of noise, smoke, confusion. That's when you make your move. I'll fire off two or three more. Then I'll come down to the dungeon and, and help you out. Okay? You've got four minutes to get into position. You, come with me. Come on. This man? This was Carlos Mendoza. He is to be the editor of the farm, a newspaper. Mm. God bless his son. <laughs> Who is this girl? Anita Wilson. Open. I want to talk to her. This is inhuman. What are you protecting? Animals? Uh, Anita, your name is Anita, eh? Anita, answer a few simple questions and you are free. Yes, it's so simple. Tell us where the Garillas hide out and who supplies weapons to your father? It's so simple. Just tell us, and, and your suffering is over. Little bitch. Tired. 
Ela. Amigo, that rocket is not like the others. Amigos, I have asked you to come here today because we are in a critical situation. Sorry. We are facing an ever-increasing danger. From the guerrilla. The President Ramos has done nothing but try to impede our efforts to stop this animal. I have decided to ask him to step down. We will form a provisional government, myself at the head, and those in this room serving as my ministers. I'd rather have you than General Monge. There is no much time. I will be brief. All right, move it, you guys. What the hell's taking you so long? Gringo, he killed them. Andres! Come on! Assassins! My God. You see? You see fruit of what they're capable of? We must act! You're finished, Madeira. We must wipe them out to the last men, these bastards. Don't you get it? Now nobody's gonna stop General Mohe and his contras. You're through. You're finished. Are you still here, Miss Milagros? Yes, Mr. President. Would you mind to come in, please? Certainly. For a dictation. Okay. Sit down, please. Take this down. People of Puerto Santo, this is my last message to you. As president of our great country, tomorrow before the nation's congress, I shall tender my resignation. Resignation? From the high office of the presidency. Now wait, make it irrevocable resignation. 
Go on, Milagros. Keep writing. What the hell are you doing? I'm dictating my revocable resignation. Give me that. Get out. There will be no resignation. I have no choice. That's correct. You have no choice. Let's get one thing straight right now. You will resign if and when I tell you to resign, and not one second sooner. You can't stop me, Frank. I can. You want to make a speech? Good. I have a speech for you. I won't read this. I can't. You will read this. And you know why you will read this? Because I tell you to read it. And in accordance with your wishes, Mr. Presidente, the Yankee fleet will sail quietly by our country and let us handle our own problems. Goodness, and goodness. this time, we'll weed out the sons of bitches one by one and wipe them off the face of the earth. I cannot be responsible for such a bloodbath. Responsible? I don't think you get the point. You're not responsible for anything. I'm responsible to my people, to my conscience. I refuse to. Then you're dead. What? You will read the speech, or I will kill you. Let me at least correct it. Good, Mr. President, they correct it. There may be some spelling mistakes. Major Perry. Ah, but General Mohe, President Ramos hasn't made any official request for U.S. assistance yet. The situation is going from bad to worse, but the Pentagon won't greenlight any kind of operation without President Ramos' explicit request. Ramos es un mierda y madera un loco. Yo salvaré al país del caos. Hello, Major Perry. This is General Mohe, ex-president of Puerto Santo. Y Salvador de mi patria. The savior of my homeland. General, you and your troops must remain neutral even if we proceed with the landing operation. Usted y sus tropas deben permanecer neutrales si el desembarco se produce. Got it, General? No! It should be but a friendly operation in support of President Ramos. Operation Amigos. Es una operación amistosa. No, demasiado tarde. No, it's too late. En este momento, mis ejércitos al norte atraviesan la frontera para aniquilar a esa banda de marxistas incontrolados. The general says that at this moment, my troops are entering the country to annihilate a bunch of marxists on the rampage. Are you crazy? ¿Está usted loco? No, pero el general Monge y sus fieles liberarán a este país. No, but General Monge and his men will liberate the country.
Agua Prada es Pablo Santana Lucas Martínez, en Fermín de Mare. Let them rest in peace. Mr. President. Please go. Leave those people alone with their dead. It is too late. We know you well now. Really? Do you really think that you know me? The gringo. What's that son of a bitch doing here? Andres, what are you going to do? You were nothing but a traitor all along. I've never been a traitor. I've always been loyal to my country. I get my orders, I carry them out. Orders? To betray and kill our people? No, for peace and justice. For your country and for your people. And you'll get it. I've listened. I've watched. It's practically living with you guys. Andres, Luis, Antonio. I know everything about you. You're the innocents in this world. And we, we've been through this shit before. You'll have your democracy. But just remember, you owe a hell of a lot of it to guys like me. Now get your asses back to your camp in the old Spanish fortress. I'll stop Monkey and his men. And don't do anything to get news from me. For Christ's sakes, keep your cool. Carry out now. Repeat now. Operation Amigos, phase A. All units move on board. Light weapons only. Take in secure points A, B, C, 
and daily. This is a peaceful, dissuasive operation. No weapons to be fired, even in the event of attack by revolutionary forces without CO authorization. Repeat, Operation Amigo, Phase A, is a peaceful operation. Mr. President, Colonel Madero is here. Madero? It's all right, Milagros. You can leave us alone. You can go home now. You have one last chance. That's very kind of you. A few days ago, you wanted to resign. I'll give you the opportunity. Do you really think that would do you any good now? Don't be stupid. The country is now in the hands of the gringos because of you. Because you are a weak man. A stupid, spineless coward. There's nothing anyone can do now, not even me. And you run away, back to your little office, Surrounded by your fucking books. And you feel safe. And you laugh at Madero. Yes, okay, I'm going down, but you're coming with me. Resign now. Resign, you bastard. And what if I don't want to? I'll kill you. <laughs> Haven't you gotten tired of threatening to kill me yet? Sign the resignation. It is funny. You are right, you know. I am a weak man. But you know what? I'm not afraid of you anymore. You want to die the hero's death? It hasn't exactly been a hero's life. Understood you. Colonel, you are under arrest. fight the whole army. Let's make it back to camp. Provided by the Treaty of Friendship between our two countries, U.S. Marine units today landed in Puerto Santo on a friendly mission of support of our democratic government. President Ramos, clearly moved by the heartwarming show of friendly concern, disregarded the text he had prepared to improvise a speech with a sensational disclosure. The people of Puerto Santo today face grave danger, both from the right and from the left. We have recognized 
Madero's policy of violent reprisals as traitors and inhumane. I have demanded his resignation. I'm happy to announce that today... Where are the boys? Do you know? I don't know. Colonel Madero, the Contras led by ex-General Monkey, as well as the small extremist groups of the radical left, were ordered in no uncertain terms to keep out of public life. Pledge their support to maintain and build a democratic government in Puerto Santo. Get your things together. We're leaving. Where are we going? We're going to Panama. We have friends in Panama. And me? You take me too, right? As far as the border, if you like. Shit. Oh, invading the country. We have to stop in my house for a minute. It's no time. What for? It's just a minute. It's very important. Look what they have done to your house. It's awful. you would be stopping by. A woman who loves money can be unpredictable, but you can depend on her not to leave her money lying around. Miklos, you, you don't understand. You don't Save understand. It. Put it all back in the safe. Wilson. Colonel Madero. We meet at last. It's a pleasure.
calling you all the way from the village. I want to see my daughter. Okay. I'm so glad to see that you're all right. Look, I've come to get you out of here. I've got some work in Europe, and we can leave tonight. That's impossible. I'm sorry, Father, but I can't go with you. Don't be silly. Of course you can. You can't stay here. Is it because of Andreas? It's not just that. I love Andreas. My mother was from Porto Santo, and so am I. This is my country. I can't leave now. No, Anita. No, Father, nothing you can say will make me change my mind. What will you do now? We organize a guerrilla and continue our struggle. We don't like your kind of double dealing. Can't you see how useless this is? Can't you see what you're up against? We have no choice. Anita. Go now, Father. Never could say no to you. Today, the forces of democracy have once again prevailed in our country. Let it be heard through our country that freedom shall reign over the forces of tyranny that threaten peace, whether they be of the right or of the left. Let it be heard in the heart of our cities, along our spectacular Cops and your presidente, I don't trust you anymore. Talk of senor presidente, I don't trust you anymore. I forget you double dealing. Have any ball with my love, I forget you double dealing. Have any ball with my love, talk of senor presidente, I don't trust you anymore.